Welcome to Transcription with Transana. Transana is already loaded, and we've created an episode in Transcript Records. We've got the transcript open that we want to edit. Transana initially opens a transcript in analytic mode, and the transcript is not editable. To be able to edit the transcript, we must enter Edit Mode by clicking the Edit Mode button on the document toolbar. It looks like a hand holding a pencil. In edit mode, you can edit the transcript. Click in the document window to position the transcript cursor where you want to begin typing. This ensures that the document window is Transana's active window. Transana's four keyboard shortcuts give you four keys in a row on your keyboard that control media playback when you are holding down the control or command key. A backs you up 10 seconds. S backs you up 2 seconds. D starts you where you stopped, and F jumps you forward 10 seconds. Holding down the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Mac OS, and then pressing the S key starts and stops media file playback from the document window. To make transcription easier, Control or Command S automatically rewinds the media file by 2 seconds each time you start media playback. Since we're on Windows, We'll press Control S now to start playback for our video file. We'll listen to a phrase said in the video, and then press Control S a second time to pause video playback. Now we type what we heard. If the letters you type don't appear in the document window, either you forgot to go into edit mode, or you started video playback from one of Transenna's other windows and didn't click back on the transcript to activate it before typing. And have enough, I guess, bandwidth in my brain to bandwidth in my brain to... Notice that Transana backs up two seconds from where we paused and then starts video playback. We'll listen to the next sentence, then press Control S again to pause playback. Again, we type what we heard. Try to understand the emotions of other people too. That's really fascinating actually. Um... Let's go ahead and do one more sentence pressing Control S to start and stop video playback. Sometimes when you are reviewing your video, you don't want to back up two seconds each time you start again. In those instances, you can use Command or Control D to start playing your media file where it stopped without any rewind. In addition, Control or Command F will move you forward by 10 seconds, and Control or Command A will move you backwards by 10 seconds. These keyboard shortcuts will soon become second nature as you transcribe. Skills. What methods did you find worked best for you? Well, worked best for you. Well, as I already said, um... Um, a lot of drawing and just. When you are transcribing, you should control media playback using Transana's four keyboard shortcut key combinations rather than by clicking play in the media window. If you stop and start using the play button, you have to click back into your spot in the transcript to type. It's easier to just type control or command D to start and stop your media. Transana allows you to change some of the settings associated with transcription, such as the amount that the program rewinds when you press Control S, and the speed that your media file is playing, at least for some media formats. To change the transcriber settings, on Windows you go to Options, Program Settings. On the Mac OS, you go to the Transana menu and choose Preferences. From here, you select the Transcriber Settings tab, Press OK when you have the transcriber settings the way you want them. To make transcription go even faster, you can use transcription shortcuts. Transcription shortcuts are key combinations you can define for a string of text that you will type over and over, like speaker identifiers, technical terms, or long phrases. Hit the key combination and that text will pop into your transcript instantly. For more on how to create your own transcription shortcuts, 
watch the screencast on transcription shortcuts linked below. Once we finish transcribing, we should add time codes, which link specific spots in the media file with specific spots in the transcript. You will probably integrate that process in with transcribing, but we've put it in a separate screencast to make it a little easier to learn. You will find the link to the screencast on adding time codes in the description box below.